So uh, this weekend, it was the Oscars Awards. It was a beautiful awards show. I will say, I would, usually I don't watch the show, but uh, my, my significant other had me watch it because of the fashion, because of her company. And I was watching the show, and I, it was great. It was produced by Will Packer. Black, mm-hmm. black, 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 the whole thing. I mean, he had historical black college kids giving out some of the, uh, the uh, awards and all the other stuff in there. He had D-Nice, the DJ, and the music. The, the band was black. It was a beautiful night of celebrating. Finally, when the Oscars was all white, too white. And this time, we had a lot of culture, a lot of folks of saying. And then we had an incident. Uh, Jamie, there we go. Uh, Will Smith uh, assaulted uh, Chris Rock. That's what some comments he said. Uh, can we get the comments of people that didn't see it? I don't know how you didn't see it. But can we play the uncut version of, of the comments, Jamie, or me of the incident that happened, Jamie? Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Get my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, any of us can take this first. You guys, go first. The blackest <laughs> moment on television ever, bro. I would say, <laughs> you know I would say some nigga shit, but I would say blackest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> meant to say native, yeah. but you know. Yeah, I, I guess black. so. They wanted a, I guess they nah. wanted black folks on, but good lord, they got some niggas though. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, what you about to play that? Yeah, blackity black ass Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> it was a source award. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what it turned into. It turned into the social source awards. Exactly. You know, you know, good like lord. how many how many times have we talked about the Smiths on this show? A lot. A lot, right? A lot. And we're yeah. continuing to have them as a subject of a topic on this show. Yes, sir. And amongst other shows. Um, it's kind of sad what I'm what we're kind of watching with the Smiths unraveling like this, in my opinion. Um, Will and Jada used to be one of the most positive image of black love that they used to be in entertainment. Now they are becoming like this huge debacle now. Their their business is being plastered all over social media, all over TV. Um, A lot of things, in my opinion, were very embarrassing to um, Will Smith. Um, I'm very shocked that Will Smith did something like this, Um, considering if you watch it, he looked like he was laughing in the beginning. He looked like he was smiling when he walked off. Yeah. Say again? When he walked up, he had a little smirk on his face. Yeah, he did. Yeah, like he was smiling. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if maybe Jada may have said something because she was offended by the joke. Maybe, you know, she said, you ain't going to do nothing. Tupac would have never let that slide, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I don't know what happened after that, but I think it was a huge embarrassment for them, especially Will Smith. Um, I mean, I think that she's done a lot of embarrassment to him as well with some of the things that she's done yep. in their marriage and stuff, putting it out there. I don't know if Will Smith felt under pressure because, you know, he's been getting dog lately and looking like maybe people say he's a punk or whatever. But to me, what he did to Chris Rock, to me, that was a punk move. I mean, you beat up the guy that was that played one of the most famous crackheads in the history of freaking <laughs> movie theaters. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and didn't have to lose weight or nothing for the part, you know? Stupid. So I just I just think it was a really bad look for the Smiths that night. You know, they, they tried to – then they, they boycotted the Oscars once because it wasn't enough blackness or something like yeah, that yeah, one yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And then you come to the Oscars this year and make total asses of yourself, yeah. you know? I, but, I, I think uh, – and I agree with you, Rodney. First of all, I think he did irreparable damage to his career. I do. I do. I don't think – ever the image that was crafted and i know i know d read the book and i know you know it was kind of like the way he was trying to make this career and always have this image i, I think yeah. that is shattered mm-hmm. um 
secondly, first of all, I, I, I feel Chris Rock was a victim in this situation. I, I think I it's, it, it's, it's reprehensible to go up there and strike somebody. He's a comic. That's what he does. And he was primarily an insult comic most of his career. You know what I mean? Uh, it was not a malicious joke. First of all, I know, I know, I don't know how many black women I know with alopecia. It's, it's, I'm not trying to minimize it. But the reality of it is this. It, we're not talking about a person with some type of life threatening illness where he crossed the line. I felt he didn't know. Jada Pinkett daughter shaved her head off when her mother shaved the head off. Well, I didn't know what they, I thought they were just no, doing it. No, 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 book, no, no. She shaved the head off. I'm going to give it back to you and read the book. I'm not sorry, hair off. Yeah, the, the, the shave the hair. She shaved the hair off. That's because she didn't want to do the tour no more. But she didn't want to do the song no more. So the to go okay, so that's so stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. So, just, so nobody ever know, right? That, that's, that's, what I'm saying. that's the point I think you're trying, trying to make, Kevin. I'm trying to make is written ready to make too. I didn't even know she had alopecia. I just thought Nobody that was some, I didn't know some shit that they just did. <laughs> no, they just shaved their heads, right? You know. Because well, that's go ahead, what she Kelly, does. Continue. She, yeah, and, and and so you take your life and you put it on display. Correct. To me, Jada Pinkett has not been relevant in years, career wise. So she 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 comes up with you got enough money to just have a hobby to have a show. You bring your daughter on a show discussing topics that are way over her her head and stuff like that that shouldn't be. You know, one of my friends was saying today, who has their daughter in the room where they tell them that that your father is, is boring in bed? Like who Correct. does stuff like all those things that make no sense. So you put all this stuff for public consumption, and then when someone says something, then you get offended by it. The other thing that looked really bad was the fact that he was laughing. And then all of a sudden you go from that emotion to that reaction. It looks really bad. Now, I've met both of these men. I was fans of both of these men in that regard. What I'm saying is we, I think, as a community, have always been very proud of their success. Right. I mean, and one of the things about Will Smith was the fact that he had never embarrassed us. It was always a good representation of a black male from most of our, you know, the way most of us viewed it. I think this right here just goes so far and beyond what we thought he was. I don't think you will ever be beloved again, you know? And and then to me, Chris Rock, that was embarrassing to go through that. Chris Rock has daughters himself. You know what I mean? I was saying, and if you remember when I saw the movie King Richard, I said, psychologically, I think it is damaging for a child to see their father be beaten up or attacked. I just think psychologically, you just think your father is Superman. Mm -hmm. And those girls had to deal with all this and still probably deal with this where they at at their respective universities to have to deal with that. And I, I just think it's foul. If I was Chris Rock, I would not say a word. I wouldn't address it at his show tonight. I would not say a word until I have a, a, a either a paid interview or something like that. I would not, I would not, because everybody's expecting him, the tour is sold out to address it tonight. I wouldn't address it tonight. I would make everybody wait and I'd make Will Smith and them wait to see because right now you don't really know the full fallout of this until we hear from Chris Rock. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? If you like what you've seen from the Four Brothers here, give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay notified when we go live and post new content. Thank you for the support. You know what? Yeah. I feel you on that. I, I actually feel kind of sorry. I don't, I, I don't, I, I'm not embarrassed by Will. You know what I mean? I'm not. Um, if, if not, not from that, you know what I mean? I'm embarrassed for Will for all the other stuff that's been happening leading up to that. This, to me, it all goes in the same hat to me. You know what I mean? Um, but what I feel, what I, what I do feel for him is a bit sorry, um, because this brother reached a breaking point, obviously. And it was just like, if one more, if one person, one more person says something, if one more thing happens, you know what I mean? And you already, when you stop and think about it, you already have, you have the weight of everything that came before. Then you have the weight of the evening. You know, he's up for, you know, nomination, right? Which he did win, which unfortunately, you know, that kind of got swept to the side, right? Uh, best actor, I think, right? Something like that. And uh, which is the big one for the Oscars. That's the big one, you know? And, um, and I think you have all of that, all of that pressure. And it um and it all just kind of you know it all just kind of stewed together, and um uh, and I think that's what you got you know um unfortunately I, I mean yeah I mean I don't think that it I don't think that it's <laughs> I don't think that it set us back but I I I just think that um I just think that um the the ball was pretty low for us anyway because I mean we've been begging to be in the Oscars I shouldn't say begging but you know what I mean it, it, we we. we you know, 
that's always been the thing. You know, there's no black people uh, in the Oscars, no black actors in the Oscars. And we get our night to shine and then this is what happens. You know what I mean? So what will happen is we'll just go back to what we had before, which was if at worst, which is no one at the Oscars, you know? Um, so, um, so yeah, that's the thing that I was thinking about. Oh, cup kicking. She says, I, 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 I've always said people need to be careful talking about couples goals. No one knows what goes on in a marriage except the two people in God. Exactly. You know, um, yeah, Derek's statement is how they're going uh, to justify his action. I mean, listen, you know, um, we we can't, we can't, I think we can't, we have to get over making Will Smith a hero or looking at our peoples and making, make, make, making them, it seems though like, you know, there's some shining example of who we are. They're just people, you know, and everyone has a breaking point and everyone uh, deals with pressure. Uh, in the way that they deal with it. And I can't imagine the pressures that they're under. I can't imagine the pressure of seeing my wife, you know, um, say the things that she says on the red table, talk about me, you know what I mean? Having to right. navigate that, you know right. what I mean? I don't know what that, and, and I think that at some point, maybe that was his way of getting back some power. You know what I mean? Because he's been taking, he's been, I feel like he's been, I feel anyway, that he's been diminished and diminished and diminished for a while leading up to this point. You know what I mean? So maybe this is his way of, you know, enough is enough. He slapped somebody. And now we're not talking about Will Smith being a punk anymore. We're actually going the opposite direction. You know what I mean? And we're but see, this is the thing, Derek. Ah! To me, if you, if you can't control your house, if you can't control your house, because that's what this is about. To me, it's about Correct. your house. You Correct. didn't control. In other words, if you feel like you feel like you're a man on that stage, but you're not a man at home. When you say you came home and there was a studio in your garage that you didn't, that you weren't consulted about. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is the time to raise a, a eyebrow or a question. If, if you feel like you have to compare yourself to Tupac, you know what I mean? In other words, it could be your wife just loved dudes that's thugged out. Because if you look no. at Jada Pinkett coming from Baltimore, that's what she was. That's yeah. why it amazed me when she rolled her eyes because that's the worst thing she ever heard in her life right there. That's the thing. Because I said this before. I think to a lot of people, they don't like the children. I think now a lot of people don't like her. And I think they get to the point where they don't like him. Now, I've always liked Will Smith. I, I, I met him. He couldn't have been nicer. The reality of it is this. All this stuff building up, you have all of the help and resources that you need to start to deal with these things. And I always ask, and I, I, I think it's something for us, important for us to talk about, when it comes to men, especially in our community, if you are affluent, if you are famous, which is the life you chose, you went into that, that field because that's what you wanted to do. It's voluntary. And so if that's the life you chose, you now are despondent all the time. You had a lot of people. I remember Martin was running down the street and he had, had uh, run down the street with a gun in L.A. Like they were, Chappelle had to flee the country one time. What is it that's in the water in this industry that is doing this, that is breaking these men, especially men that seem to be so strong or seem to be so together? What is it? Well, for, 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 for me, I think the things when we say breaking, I think we'll, sometimes you, get, yeah, you didn't heal the child that was in you. So Will had a lot of stuff with his father and all stuff. When you, when you look at his book and all the stuff, Will could have nipped this in a book if he handled his household right. Correct. Once his once his wife started doing that shit and getting an ass slapped by uh, Alex Alcina or whatever, the August Alcina or whatever the motherfucker the young boy name is, he should have handled that shit from the jump. But and how would he, you? How, how could he have handled it though, D? What do you think? Bro, he done? He should, he should not talk. have it on public display. For one, one that is one thing, right? That's, he didn't. He didn't do it. That was that was his wife. Uh, no, that, at the yeah, table yeah. though. He, he sat at the table with her. Hell, hell, let me get a goddamn word in, goddamn it. <laughs> goddamn, man, he asked me, and you answer my motherfucking question. <laughs> Will could have flipped the motherfucking red table over <laughs> from the jump. Like, bitch, right. ain't going for this shit tonight here. And now it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now it's flipped it over. I'm just joking with it. But he could have nipped a lot of stuff in the butt. Even mm -hmm. the August thing, like, yo, keep this shit on the rats, whatever. All the other stuff she was doing. If you see the book, a lot of stuff that Will could have nipped in the butt a long time no ago, question. bro. No question. It's like you no gotta question. handle that. Like even no. like he should have handled that situation with with Chris. He could have went and said, "Yo, bro, look, I'm gonna handle this shit." Like, "Yo, boo, I got this. I'm handling." And he went backstage or whatever, handle that shit. Talk to him like, "Yo, I, motherfucker, mm. you say some shit, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you." I, 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 you I, up, yeah. no game. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like he could have, but he went around the shit wrong. I don't say it said black people black because this is a white people world. And that's white supremacy mindset saying that it set us back, blah, blah, blah. Right. Not we, like, yeah, they, they exactly. didn't have us in a high regard anyway. That's why the shit they exactly. didn't have us in it before. So yeah, I don't exactly. give a fuck what they think on that part. 
Because right. if it would have been two white men, then that should have been just says two men having an argument without a fight. Right. Like, just look at as two men having a fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but you know, ahead, with, with, with the point you're making about um, Will keeping his his house in check, I agree 100. percent If you look at the way Jada did a lot of things with um, putting their business out there, she was too comfortable doing it. She was extremely comfortable doing it. And the thing is, she showed that she had no concerns of a backlash from him towards her. So the thing is, and we're not saying beaten before we say no. We're not saying I'm not (laughs) even not saying that. (laughs) The thing is, the thing is, is that Jada feels too comfortable being able to do these type of things with Will because he allows it. He's too comfortable mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, to me, that shows me that she does not have a lot of respect for Will at all. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm right. going gonna, gonna to bring up something that I saw on social media with women talking about this situation with Will. Oh, he did the right thing. He protected Jada and this and that. Let me explain something to you. I'm a firm believer as a man that men are supposed to protect their woman. You will not get me to change my mind about that ever. Mm -hmm. But let me explain something to you, too. The queen protects the king as well. Facts. And she's not doing that. Oh, no, at all. Bro, she is not protecting his image. She's not protecting her image. She's not protecting what her children have to hear about their father and this and that. So to me, she's not protecting him any either. In a relationship, especially a marriage, you protect each other. It's not a one-way trip. But see, I can't get anybody to answer the question. Right. What should Will have done? You say to nip it in the bud. What should he have done to nip it in the bud? What? How could he? Okay, have so this is what this you know. What the you thing do? is, I, I, excuse me. I'm gonna say this, Kevin. I'm gonna let you have the floor. Let me explain. There's a lot of things he could have did. Now, number did one, know, okay, correct. Right, right, right. If number one, he could have let him know, yo, this happens again. This shit is done. This is yep. done. Yeah, I'm not here okay. for your. Because you got to realize something too. She, that's a form of abuse as well, what All she was time. doing. You know what I'm right. saying? But we don't look at it like that because it's coming from a woman. Right. You know what I mean? But the thing, that's number one. Number two, if she continued to do it, then guess what? This marriage is over. Let's right. keep it pushing go and go, you go your way and I go my way right. because I can't be with a woman that has no respect for me. Right. You know, but this, this act that he displayed with Chris Rock to maybe try to gain some respect, that's not the way you go about yeah. it because yeah. Let's face the facts. Will Smith ain't built like that. You a guy that basically, after you did something like that, you go up on the stage and then you cry about it. You know what I'm saying? You're not really built like that. And another thing, this is a guy that got into one little fight and his mom got scared and she said, you're moving to your auntie and your uncle in Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Will. You ain't built like that. You're not a guy. You know what I'm saying? He had to move from where he lived because he got into one little fight. Now you want to beat up Chris Rock. Come on, man. You know, well, well, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, say this. To, to me, again, and I agree with Rodney, this is not for public consumption. Rod's getting the scroll so, back. No, I'm getting a good scroll. <laughs> <laughs> he said a good scroll. You know, it's, 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 not, it's not for public consumption. Not, I think what it is is this, and I think you actually hit the nail on the head also, Derek, because this didn't just start this week. That's exactly. And it looked it but it looks worse. It looks worse when almost the person like snaps their fingers and sends you up on the stage. That doesn't even look like that was his decision. Oh, I better do I better do something. She looked like she rolling her eyes and this, that, and yeah. the third. And it just looked, you see what I'm saying? And 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 that's the problem that Will has been in this business nearly 40 years, just like Chris Rock. They've been in this business since they was teenagers. Yeah. And you know, so right now you have tarnished. This is a guy that was a rapper turned actor who made it to the pinnacle of his field. He is the first rapper to receive a Grammy. Then he was the first, I think, successful rapper turned actor. Then he gets a Oscar, which is the highest award you can get in this country with acting. He gets it and nobody remembers the award. Nobody thinks about the performance. He has blown that. And again, I don't think this is about whether or not you like uh, Will Smith, whether or not you like Chris Rock. It's an issue of whether it's right or wrong. And you cannot justify that. He was out of control. And I've always said this. I am not a fan of being out of control. I'm not out of control when it comes to grief. I I just, and that doesn't mean that I'm stronger than anybody else. I'm just saying to me, 
you have to be able to think in situations that are uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And for him to do that, he held the people hostage. Quest Love was there to receive an award that Chris Rock was about to present to him. Nobody even knows about that or cares for that matter. You owe everybody in that audience an apology. You owe the Academy an apology. You owe, first of all, I thought it looked very, very small, not to mention Chris Rock by name in, in when, when you made the acceptance speech and you apologize to everybody, like they said, everybody but the person you slapped. Yeah, yeah. You, you well, see what I'm saying? We'll get some comments in. Uh, Jamie, can you bring a couple comments in? Jada said nothing two weeks ago when Cox came for them at the red carpet. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, man. I didn't I see didn't, that. I didn't, I didn't see that. that. Who's, who's yeah. Cox? I don't know who the Cox is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know who it is. Well, with Jada, you never know. It's it's a guy. It's a guy <laughs> with a big one. That's what it is, Cox. <laughs> scroll, scroll, no, guys. That's not that <laughs> one. Yo, Rod, I can't know how to get down. My Rod, flag. Rod, Rod, that's that's uh, a, what a yellow, yo, what a yellow flag. That's right? scrollish. <laughs> that that is. is snitching. I'll be holding you down yeah. on a lot of your scroll. Yeah, 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 he yeah, does. He snitching. Yo, 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 Well, since I got the scroll, <laughs> it probably was a big cop. That you probably, that's what you're talking about. Yo, he said he'll get his money worth. The funny thing is, is the is the transgender person from Orange is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I tell you, you're not. Mm. You are not. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just. Says, uh, I don't think this has any. I don't think this has anything to do with black people or this being black. Uh, the whole night was black excellence, and to me, this reflects negativity on Will and only Will. I'm gonna be honest yeah. with y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd like to say right. the same thing, but y'all know exactly what it is. <laughs> Direct checking in. Masali, Masali just got to try to hold it down for D because he want to put the positive to our people, which y'all know exactly what it is. My people <laughs> don't know how to act. My rich people don't know how to act. My poor people don't know how to act. <laughs> what, what the rest say? What the rest says, say? Uh, see, this is, she says, Jada doesn't cover her husband <clears throat> like she should. She's giving the world license to ridicule him. Correct. Right? Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Now, let me say. I know I got the good scroll. Let me let me let me let me let me explain something, right? Like, Will kind of put himself in a really bad situation too. Mm -hmm. Put himself in a bad situation too because I believe that mm -hmm. people now are going to try Will more because of this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I yeah, really right. believe that. So now the buttons at now. Yeah, correct, I can't wait. I can't wait to Uncle that. Murder. I can't wait to Uncle Murder. Now the this. thing is, I don't believe that Will would have went up there and slapped a white comedian, and I don't believe that Will would have went up there and slapped a rapper if he was it was cracking oh, a joke no. about Jada. You oh, know what I'm saying? Right. A rapper probably could have went up there and said they slept with Jada, and he probably wouldn't have did nothing. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Which they which she probably did. Give me another scroll. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm calling I'm being, for it. Yeah, I'm calling for him now. I'm going to wear Jamie's ass out tonight. <laughs> Yo, Jamie, bring up Brad's comment. Look at what Brad said. He said, that boy ain't been right since Ben Vereen left him. <laughs> Yo, that was... That was the best that's of the That was the best that's of the hurt, yo. That's that was good. good. That was good. Uncle Berta, uh, yeah. Uncle Berta actually, actually apologized for his lies. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. But you know what I realized? I'm I'm let me just lay it out there and just be honest. And we have to be honest as as people and as men and women. All this walking around talking about my queen. You can use queen and king all you want. If your wife is something that is not reflective of that. Correct. You could try to you, you could put a crown on her, yeah. uh, you 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 could put a robe on her, you could put diamonds on her. On it's, that's right, and nothing is gonna change the inside. That's it. Let me tell you something. Right. You could call it a Louis Vuitton bag. I'm trying to tell you, this is from Jamaica Avenue. That's where it's from, and that's, that's right. it. And that's what and that's what he's trying to do. <laughs> you know, I protected my queen. No, your queen is foul. That's just yeah. the bottom line. <laughs> and we use the words queens loosely. And so yeah. as a result, you could try to do all that stuff like that, but the person is the common denominator. It is always her. It is always her. And she's got one claim to fame, who she's married to. Other than that, she'd have been one of the people be like, what happened to Jada Pinkett from the 90s? That's just what it was. <laughs> Jada has emotionally manipulated Will for years. She totally yeah. sets him up for this and knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, I agree. I agree, she's agree with Sally. Yeah, absolutely. She's toxic. She's a toxic. Yeah, she is, she is toxic. absolutely toxic. The other yeah. thing is, too, absolutely. Will is the big name, and she still hyphenates her name. Pickett don't carry no weight. 
It don't no. carry no weight. But, but, see, but, that's, the, but that's the psychology. That's the psychology, Rodney. She is kind of lightweight, jealous mm -hmm. of his success, and she doesn't hold him down because of it. She's envious of it, man. She you know shouldn't I mean? be jealous of his success because what he gains bring is coming home. She but she benefits millions of dollars from what he makes every she year. Up, she got a bigger you know? ego than him. You know what well, I mean? Or at least as she big. need to go. She need to go. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's, yeah. that's the, I think it's the main issue with them. What do you think the fallout is from this, though? What do you think the Academy should do? What do you think should be fair with, okay. with, with Will Smith? So, what do you think should happen? So you think what should Will get, how should he get punished? Right. Well, what I think the, I, what I think the Academy is going to do to him is probably, um, they're probably going to make him make part two of Hancock. Because <laughs> that shit was a flop. No, they and, should take the first one and make him watch it. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> no Wild Wild West. Uh, yeah. was a, the was other thing I think they should make him do is he should play the lead role in D's movie Slave Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he'll get, he'll get his ass kicked. No, no, no. <laughs> fuck that. They be like, fuck that. They wouldn't be scared of his boobs. They be like, fuck I, that. this is what I think is gonna happen. Yeah. I think I think they're not gonna let him uh, attend the next three years. That's what I think is going to happen. I think they're not going to let him attend. I think he's not going to be allowed to participate in any functions that they have probably for a few years. I don't think I he's going to show up anyway. I don't think he's going to show up anyway. I think this is a bad scene for him. He's Listen, this is a bad time for him, man. It's been a bad time for a while now. You know what I mean? But, but you know what? Let me tell you something. I separate. Listen, I'm going to be very, very honest with this. Who your wife is sleeping with, or who you're sleeping with, it's totally your business. Correct. I'm talking about as far as, because that's that's his wife and he chooses to move forward like that, that's fine. I'm talking about as far as the public. You don't get to humiliate this comic. You don't get to disrespect him or his family. Chris Rock, I mean, they've told my will from Philly. Chris Rock from, from Best Die. Like, Chris Rock knows some people too, probably. You know what I mean? Oh, like, at the end of the day, yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying you, don't, you don't get yeah. to do that. So from a professional standpoint, because I think there's two different things. His wife emasculates him. He goes for it. That's Ooh. fine. But now when you come out of that, this is the public. You don't get to determine that. You know what I mean? And, and again, this it's, it's funny. All of us here, I'm assuming, went to a junior high school where people used to go at you if they needed to or whatever. I know I did. And we was taught very early on, words. Don't let words get you. You We used to give some or we used to take some. You know what I'm saying? Like, has anybody ever said something? I went to school with a dude. He and I talked about each other mother every day, every single day. And we never fought about it. We didn't even know each other's mothers, but that's what it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. You're taught. You have got to have restraint when you are north of 50 years of age. At this point, you don't need to be getting passes. You, Will made a statement to him. I apologize. This is not the man I want to be. Well, when are you going to be that man? Yeah. <laughs> where, where you gonna be? Where, where are you gonna be? You know what I'm saying? When I get 70, right then I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all gonna see me come out of my shell like at a certain point. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry, no red. I, I thought it was trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I move Rob kind of I let it slide. Uh, alcoholic, alcoholic superhero. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was trash. That's what was trash. And, and, and what do you got to strength for him? When he, when he got weak when he's around that white woman. Yeah. <laughs> Think of the metaphors. Yeah. 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 I'm, just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. But, uh -huh. but I, I, God damn, Will Smith. It's like, I, I, I don't want, I want you guys to, if y'all, I know none of y'all going to read the book, so. But it, it, this shit was bound to happen with this dude, man, from the book. Bound to happen. He always felt very inferior. He felt weak. His mom said he never, his mother said he never act like this. That's like, this, that's what I'm trying to say. This woman is so toxic that your yeah. mama, who raised you, never saw this come out of you. If, Correct. If He's not like growing that. Up in, growing up in Philly and nobody pushed your buttons when you went up there for his part. Like, no, he but, left Philly. And, he went to Bel Air. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> here goes the thing is, when people say you're honor of your wife, that's when somebody come threaten your wife. All those jokes. If you take your lady to the comedy club and you're sitting there and she happened to have some fucked up shit on and the comments mm -hmm. on her, you're going to rush the stage? Correct. It's just comedy. It's fun. We go to the you, comedy show. No, if you sit in the first three rows, you know it might be on. If you sit in the first <laughs> row, you know you it can might be, be on. Hit. You can you, be getting you, hit. It's that's hit. what this man does. And <laughs> after the show, who the first person give you a panel for being a good sport? Yeah, the, 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 the comedians. comedians. The comedians. They come. I've seen it a million times. They come yep. to you. Oh, thanks a lot, man. This, that, and the third. They, all the time. Yep. That's what it's about. You see what I'm saying? And so, if he would have laughed, if she'd have smiled, he'd have went to the next joke because you could tell he did that off the top. 
That's all he did. That's what comics for what, do. For what I understand, comics he didn't fake. write. For what I understand, they said he didn't write the joke. They're saying that now because the Oscars is now trying to cover themselves and they're trying to take some blame of this. The reality of it is this. You can see, you've been around long enough, D. You know that's yeah. off the top. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. even thought about that reference with her yeah. being bald in the front. Nobody thought. First of all, he's there to win an award that night. They already know he's going to win the award that night. They're not going to come and go up. Jada is not really relevant enough to be part of the show. I'm going to just be honest with you. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's not. Jada. Thank you. Yeah. Based on who she's married to. Yeah. The other thing is Jada right. had a post on her page about her being bald yep. and said she yep. does not care yep. about what other people think about her yep. being exactly. bald. Exactly. Obviously, exactly. that was a lie. Yep. Exactly. Because she was, because she was obviously offended by this, 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 but that's her acting again. That's why you got to be careful with these actors yep. because oh, yeah. when they're on social media, when they're in yep. interviews, they're acting then too, you know? <laughs> yep. But did anybody care? Like when when what did, was anybody like yo? We're not talking about Beyonce here. Did anybody be like yo? You heard Jada Pinkett? Did nobody care? You came up with a show so you could be watched. Nobody was checked. When's the last time you was like I gotta go see a Jada Pinkett movie or show? Uh, oh, set, it off. set it off. With set it off. Set it off. Right, but yeah. would you have did seen you that see if she it? wasn't did in you, it? Did you see? No, I didn't go see it for her. Did you see it My for point. her though? Did you see? It? Did you see? Did you see? Set it off. For her. No, no, you didn't see it. No, no. I didn't see it. Right. I went. Well, that's the I went point. That's see it because Queen Latifah. Now I like Queen Latifah. Right. Well, that's something y'all would have saw. And I just thought it was a cool story, story with women. Let's, that was let's, let's, get, let's like get ready. That. When we all went to go see, was because it was Vivica Fox. When Vivica Fox was at our peak, and she was yeah. like, mm. I, I'm gonna be told. Vivica Fox had the body. But I thought you know this. I thought the story was different. We usually saw a dude. I'm most people. Not that that's right. I'm just saying most people because Vivica Fox one time was one of them vixens on. You're right. She was big. She was hot. Yeah, then Latifah, we went, and it was a good storyline. That's what we really... Mm -hmm. The storyline, right, right, because we hadn't seen women that was in the that capacity. Stuff, yeah. All through the 90s, you saw a bunch of dudes yeah, that with was different new. movies like that. Was that was different, yeah. But what, it was different, so we went to see it. But what I'm saying is, this is the woman that made Wu. And I'm not trying to take again. She <laughs> made, you know, she's trained. She she made, you know, she had a career. I'm not trying to knock her. What I'm saying is this. Slow down, At the end shame. of the day, Slow down, to me, shame. it's the same thing they... Exactly. It's the same thing they said when she boycotted the Oscars before. You're not in that league. You're yeah. not an A-lister. You're married to an A-lister. Correct. What was the other bullshit with the Bokeem Woodbomb? Brad, and Brad still and Brad know that shit. That's your Bokeem Woodbomb. Well, Jason's lyric? You said yeah, that Bokey bullshit. Would, no, you Jason's lyric. I like Jason's lyric. Well, that shit was trash. Jason's lyric? Trash. You know why all this movie is trash? Because we was they was coming from the right same neighborhood we was in. We saw all this stuff in real time. <laughs> That's what but let me get Chris Rock thing with that whole alopecia thing. The two things he probably didn't know. I didn't know knowing Chris Rock and knowing his family. I was saying I say knowing Chris Rock because, like I said before, the college with his brother and all that stuff like that. His mother had cancer. I doubt, seriously doubt, if Chris Rock knew his she was going through an illness or the hair loss. Yeah, no, he his mother. Yeah. He would have. He would have ever made that. I talked to. One of the people, one of my people that took care of his mother during that time, there's no way in hell I think Chris Rock would have said And that. I hate to be, I hate to, to minimize this. Girl I hate strip. To be, oh, yeah, I forgot about that's girl That's a good strip. one. That's a good one, Sophia. Girl I hate to minimize it. Sophia. I won't say P. Anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> any, anybody else. Anybody else that is going through a family member with cancer, I'm not trying to minimize alopecia. We are not talking about in the same stratosphere is a major life-threatening disease. And, and yeah. they need to really, really relax with that. Really. And if it bothers you that bad, you're a multimillionaire to get a wig like 90% of the, the right. people in Hollywood anyway. Yeah. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That I mean, it's just really the, the biggest night of your career turned out to be probably the worst moment you've ever had career-wise. But 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 also it might have become one of the more important nights for us as people, like and and just and just for male female relations. When you stop and think a bit about it, like in a sense, like you have uh, Tiffany Haddish. I think she came out and she said um, she thought it was a wonderful gesture. She felt like it was wonderful to see a man stand up for his woman, right? And what a she, joke. Well, listen, it wasn't no. about the joke. Tiffany Haddish also said. She Will better, um, Jada better suck his dick from the back tonight. Okay, that's cool too. <laughs> that's cool too. But she is indicative of there are a lot hey, of people out yeah. there who feel that same way, oh, bro. Shit. A lot of women feel that same Jamie way. Jamie's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'm quoting. I'm 
Yeah. Oh, Tiffany get the scroll. She gets yeah. she he a representative. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Did Tiffany Haddish come out and say anything about Jada when she was disrespecting Will in the public? She ain't say nothing then. You know what I'm saying? So now Tiffany Haddish shouldn't say shit. That's my personal opinion. Mm, big maybe she did and not say, she did not come out and say that Jada Pickett is foul for coming out blasting her husband about sleeping with somebody, about him being boring in bed, talking about that Tupac shit. She didn't say any of that. So now all of a sudden he goes up there and make a fool of himself. Now she's gonna say something. I don't think she, that's right. She's, I don't she's think speaking she's right. more towards the gesture though, the actual because you're or women now, out here who feel that men do not. And you know you have obviously you have different types. You know you have some women who, but you know away, what, but other women want men to be protected. Want to you, see men be protectors and protectors you and she protect your good that. life. Protect right. your well, good listen, life. Listen, we're gonna get into right, right. You listen. Well, you, got good life, you got a good we, chick. Well, we're, 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 we're not talking about listen, Derek. About I saw I saw Jada driving a brand new Rolls Royce. She should be on UPN nine somewhere. Is she driving the Rolls Royce? That's him protecting her right there. That's him standing up for <laughs> her right there. That's there's provision involved, and I get and see what happens. The, the bodyguards that, that he paid for for her. It, it, exactly, exactly, exactly. See, that's the thing. I think there's a narrative painted that all black women have low self esteem, and and they, they, the men are abandoning them. I think there's a small group of people that feel that. There, every every man I see on this screen, y'all with women that y'all take care of, that y'all love, and right. that take you down and hold you down, and they know you strong men and good fathers stuff right. like that this idea that tiffany haddish just broke up with common and stuff so probably it's this thing like we always abandoned and stuff like that there's some really good dudes out there there's some really good women out there and that's just the bottom line this right here is just inexcusable will knows better than this he just does and what i'm saying is when you lose it like this something else is wrong yeah. Something else is wrong. And I think that what he's going to have to do, he's going to have to go before the public, have to do anger management. I think you need to get in front of a camera and apologize to Chris Rock. Per, you know, all this going on social media later. You know what I'm saying? It, realistically, this was you being the valedictorian and you almost didn't get a chance to make the speech. That's what it was. This was your night. Denzel and all of them sat there like, I cannot believe it. Jamie Foxx ain't do this. Nobody that won that award did this. And so few of us have won it and now it's going to always be this. That's the problem. And I, I'll be honest with you. I could say this because I've been there. If a woman is not into you, you can buy a, a mansion. You, you could buy a mountain. You could buy whatever. It's not going to matter. She would rather go and get on a bus to see somebody in Rikers Island that she loves. Yep. And that's the bottom line. That is, it, it, Yes, it does happen to sex symbols. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tiger, 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 what did he say on Twitter? He said his Twitter post that night proves he didn't get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are you it's talking about Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. they're going to be at the after party, I mean, get a jiggy with it. Come on, now, son. But see, now, but, but I just think that we, 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 we have to deal with the fact that there are many women, for them, it was a refreshing thing to see a man stick up for his wife. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not dealing with whether or not the whether she was worth it or any mistakes she made, she she may have made before or whatever they had going on before that, just to see him stick up for his wife and stick up for his honor. Now I'm not gonna get into whether or not he should have did it or she was worth it or anything like that. It's there it's, it's, it's that's stones, what it is. man. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars says before the end of the month of April, Jada Pickett says something else fucked up about Will. You're probably right. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. You probably she, right. And if she makes it out of April the Tim, following month, she'll do it. Give you Tim a t-shirt, a mug, a hat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just I mean, at the end of the day, and I have to, I have to give it to Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z sitting there like I was the drug dealer. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think, um, I think Will Smith's son did a tweet too. About yeah, not, not, yeah, there you go. Not this woman. My husband has nothing to prove. And that's it. Monique. Yeah, no, absolutely. Y'all not absolutely. in the playground. But, but see, here's the, the thing. But here's the thing, Monique. You do know how many women there are who actually feel that way because I'm telling you, if I look at you, if you look at your timeline or whatever social media that you look at, you're going to look at it. It's at least 50-50. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you got to acknowledge the, the reality is 
that we split on this thing. So we need to at least have that conversation and think no, about Derek, it. I agree with you, Derek. You're right. He's yeah. right on that because a lot of these woke ass pages and all these black women like nobody protects black women. That's to me, it's bullshit. I don't I know. Good. I don't. I think I don't know too many brothers don't, but I get it. They, I know my people. wife won't say that. I know my wife won't say that. Yeah, but you know, it's some it's some dudes like dating some chicks, right? I seen dudes that don't open doors for women, right? Stuff mm -hmm. like that. I get it. So they had them fucked up as dudes. I understand. I understand where they're coming from with it, but it, to me, it's like that was she didn't need no protection. No, she was in no kind of harm. She was not being happen. threatened. She not, was not no being threatened. threatened. Nothing. Mm -hmm. The, the other joke. thing is too. I would have said I would I would have been more understanding of Will slapping him if Chris Rock had have said something on that stage that was revealing that no one knew about. And embarrassed the shit out of them, yeah. then I would have said, "Okay, Will went up there and took care of his business." No, she whatever. already said that. He ain't got to say that. <laughs> I understand <laughs> exactly. He, she's the right. one that's going to say it. Right. But still, it's not Chris Rock's place if he had to said something like that to reveal something about Will and his wife personally. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So if Will had went up there and checked them and said, "Yo, what, what was that about?" You know what I'm saying? Why you did that? Yeah. Then I could see it more. But the thing is, he cracked a joke about her having a shaved head. And she was not a threat at all. She she took offense to the joke. He laughed at it, and I guess she egged him on, put a battery in his back, and he went up there and he did something fucking stupid. Right. Said, Don't pay attention to Jaden. He was wearing a sherbet swoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. If Will did this in the '90s with the way rappers were portrayed, he could have got away with it. This anti-bullying movement. It's going to be hard. I'm telling you, people don't play this bullying stuff no more. It's a different day now. And Chris Rock looked like the, the victim, and Will Smith looked like the bully. Sophia says, you have to take a good look at women who say Will did the right thing. They have issues, too. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. We yeah, all have yeah, issues. You boom, 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 we all have issues, boom. Sophia. Boom, you know, man, everybody you got boom. issues. But here's, Yo, what you, I, here's, here's what I do know about Will, though, What you have to say is in his own heart and in his own spirit, he is there. He's showing you that he will protect his family. No, 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 Derek. This your light skin bias, Derek. I just figured it out. <laughs> Derek, this is the light skin bias. Listen, I see you now. What that, it means this was Wesley me. Snipes. What Derek be out there campaigning. No, against don't him. even mention nah, Wesley. Okay. After <laughs> what he was fuck with, he was wearing that night. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I'm so he got no, what, off, fuck, what, was, crazy. what was Wesley wearing? Oh my god! Pull that shit up, Jamie. You look like a leprechaun pimp, bro. I'm telling you, a mix between. Yo, man. Yo, he looked like Blade with the Christopher Street. Yeah. He looked all shorts and stockings. Two of off the prints on the man. Like, what the fuck was going on? Like, get your man. Like, Wesley should have got smacked. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah. Smack that shit. Speaking of smacking, Will Smith did smack a white man once on the on the red carpet somewhere. Something like that. Sammy, can you show us that video real quick? And so rightfully so. Oh my god, you hey, 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 First of all, <laughs> the dude tried to kiss Will. Why why what's wrong with that? <laughs> he was on the red carpet, man. I don't, care if, he's on the, I don't care if he's on the blue carpet. That guy's got no right trying to kiss Will. You shouldn't hit him, though, man. You shouldn't hit him, right? Oh, like, don't God. nobody kiss me on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I just, I, I'm, I'm curious. This, this to me, I'm just curious how this is going to go for him. And I, like I said, I've always rooted for him. And I, I've always liked uh, a lot of his films. I thought he just put it back together because he went through a lull. He went through a lull. I think he took too much time trying to make his kids famous and all the different things that he did and made yeah, a bunch of yeah. trash movies, yeah. you know what I mean? And so now he was putting it back together and this was the pinnacle, but it just takes it away. Right now, that Oscar will forever be tarnished. It just will. Yeah. It will. You know yeah, what I mean? Jada probably, right. told him, Jada probably told him to um, make those movies with the kids. Yeah, they're gonna do. They're gonna do. They're gonna do a red carpet. Let me red table talk. Go ahead. What you, what you, what you, you can go to Fifty Cent to give him a role. Yeah, sure it's Monique. It's Monique. Right? Let me explain something to y'all. Right, that shit. 
Yeah, 50 Cent is doing Look like an extra in the golden child. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you know what? You know what? So so somebody, so so, uh, (laughs) Sophia just texted me and said, tell them your story. All right, so let me tell this quick story. This is a terrible. Look at this fool. Look at this fool. Look at this bullshit right here. (laughs) Look at this one. Yo, what's he got skinny? Is he a vegan or? Yeah. That's what I was. Oh, no, man, that no, 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 they ain't vegan, bro. <laughs> no, like they ain't vegan. Too many enemas. Yeah, they, they, ah! they, <laughs> <laughs> too many enemas, Wesley. Stop okay, let me ask, let me ask this question. All right, so All right. so uh, one day I had to do an event for the limousine service, right? And I'm down in Lower Manhattan, and my all I had to do was pick up twenty female models on this bus, take them to some event. Right, we uh, take them to this event. I walk in, they got all the dudes with gold. There was painted gold. All the women was painted blue. I'm in there, and the dude that's running the event is telling me what needs to be done, how you pick them up, with time, all the stuff like that. While he's talking to me, a dude walks by and puts and rubs his hand down my left side. I'm trying to find a way to look to see who it is. So when this dude finished telling me what to do, I go out there and get arrested. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I need to be able to, I need, I'm trying to, like Rodney, I'm trying to see a shoe or something so I'll know who it was. So as soon, I, and it's funny, you know how somebody talking to you, the dude is the boss, and he's, yeah, and yeah. he, I'm trying to, and some, I just felt a hand on my, like, go down my thigh. And the dude's like, yeah, so we're going to do this, that, and the third. And I want to go try to get to it. And I'm telling you, I told my friend Sophia that she's been laughing about it ever since. Now, <laughs> I promise you, he was going to get that work. He was going to get that two-piece. I'm telling you. And so so this is my question to you. If you were in Chris Rock's shoes, what do you think you would have done in the very same position? Uh, it'd have been, it'd have you been asking me or you asking D? I'm asking everybody. Ron, I'm, you go first. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll be, fine. I'll be honest with you, they would have had to send that screen to black and cut the show off. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you'd have done it right there. Oh, no, no, it no, no, would have no, no, been no. right there. Delvin, you, I always tell people this. Oh, he wouldn't have been able to walk away and talk. He would have never made it You can't turn seat. your back on me, yeah, bro. Yeah. That would have never happened. You're going to slap right. me and then you turn your back. No. no. Yeah, yeah. That, see, that was the bigger insult, too. Kelvin, Go ahead, you know, D. You always got to let motherfuckers know who you are. Yeah. And that's it. Now, that's you, so, now the funny thing was I was listening to Fat Joe, right? Fat Joe was like, all y'all know, I ain't no punk, this, that, the third. He said, years ago, y'all know what I've done. He said, if I was in Chris Rock's shoes, I know y'all not going to believe this. He said, I wouldn't hit him back. He said, you in that room. The money is in the room. This, that, and the third. Chris Rock is going to really, really blow up from this. It's, it's show oh, sold yeah. out. It's now, now this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. It is my natural instinct that, first of all, I was raised by a man. My father said, if a man spit at you mm-hmm. or a man slap you, you go to war right there so it's your instinct to do it it's just your natural inclination to do it you see what i'm saying but i'm wondering how it would have been in real time in that space and chris rock handled it like a champ i'm talking about people chris ain't a fighter bro no he's right. not that guy he's not chris will chris ain't chris that chris guy chris either yeah, he's chris not that guy chris either chris 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 will might got some skills from the ali movies and all that other yeah, shit. Like, yeah. uh, he might got a little skill set to him because i in this book he does train i'll give it to him he does train i keep going back to that sounds crazy but he does, he does all this training and shit and all this stuff like stuff. But Chris ain't that guy. Chris is so sweet, awkward, man. His whole mm-hmm. his fans, brothers are awkward. And I'm not putting their business on the street, but I love them, but they awkward. They little awkward, man. So he ain't that guy. I don't think Chris, Chris did what Chris would have did anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I think yeah, Shannon Sharp did nail it. Yeah. Yeah. He did nail it. He did. Derek, what would you do? What did he say? Who me? Oh man, mm-hmm. that's not the show would have been over. Yeah. Been over. <laughs> well, that's what Shannon been, said. No, that would've been yeah, that'd been that would have been in the show faded black. Run the credits, yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Run the, the credits, bro. Because not because they never had to listen to EMT was in there, everything. Now, bro. now let me say this before we move on. There's one time in the history of that show where I thought that response was warranted, and that's when Hallie gave the the um, award to Adrian Brody when her husband sat there in the front row. I remember watching it live, and I was like, I know. I know they got to restrain my man. I know he, I'm like, before they come back from commercial, I know he's going to tear up the set or whatever. He taking pictures with the man afterwards. And I said, I should, because somebody do that, because let me tell you something. If you would have shook Julia Roberts' hand wrong, you'd have got snuffed. But, Dude. but. Eric Cornet. He wore no they, shoes. He had no shoes. So he can't, can't fight with no shoes. Right, you, break your, you break your feet. Yeah, the guy toes. step on his feet, break his toes and all that shit. <laughs> no shoes. Yeah, I Eric, could not I, believe. Yeah. Eric Gornet can't 
you can't you a guy that walks around with no shoes on you on can't me. expect him to be a tough guy could, could you imagine somebody no grabbing shoes? your wife and do that could you imagine that no i don't could even you, want I mean, to imagine i mean I mean, I would have went up on that. I'm telling you that. I wouldn't have got it. a chance. I wouldn't have got a chance of defending. Let my wife know that. <laughs> Some people black out when hit. Some don't. know. Yeah. my wife would have blacked out, bro. You don't want right. my wife like that. There, you couldn't have got to him for fast enough. I wouldn't have got, got a chance to him. I wouldn't have got a shot in. I wouldn't have got that in. Oh. She look, she, she, yeah, Keela, she said, y'all missing the fact that y'all wouldn't be talking about nobody's wife. Yeah. Nope. You no. Know? I, mean, I will. I will. Because I'm a How funny you talking about somebody's wife when you're not prepared to thump? Exactly. No. No. Exactly. Jokes. See, people taking it out as jokes, because I know I crack jokes. And that was, that was, on that. That's a simple joke. That was G.I. James. <laughs> Monique said what that happened. <laughs> Monique, I couldn't, I couldn't find the man. I promise you, I tried. I re I tried. But then I realized something. When I would have went up there and gave my man the two-piece, then I'd have been uh accused of a hate crime. Yeah, you would have been that's what that's what it'd have been. A yeah. hate crime. You and I, I still never would be in jail to this day. Up, yo, 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 it, it would have drove there. Ronnie, y'all yeah. wouldn't have to come get me. I'd have went there and met y'all there. I wouldn't. Y'all be getting in the car, answering the car. I'm like, I'm right here. I'm like, <laughs> front. But I never got. And I said to myself, I remember that night thinking, what if there was a woman there and I did that to her? Yeah, you'd be in jail. What if a woman was standing there and you just literally took your hand down the side of her, her thigh? Oh, chill, chill, babe. You can't be putting my shit out there. Oh, like go ahead, read it, read it, motherfucker. Read <laughs> it. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> read it, motherfucker, read it. <laughs> There's footage in my bay when somebody tried it and. <laughs> took a huge L fucking with Derek Bazemore. Oh, yeah. now the truth comes out. Oh, Derek oh, gave you that work, the, boy. The calm, the calm, cool Derek is out there. Derek gave you that yeah. work. Yeah, she had yeah. to put that out there. Oh, we talk about Derek something. was in West about, Philadelphia about, about, State. Tell, tell, tell a story, Derek. Tell a story. We got time. Hey, His man. lawyer told him not to say the whole hey. thing. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly, man. allegedly, <laughs> listen. Yeah, it was. Derek, let's, just say the case is not over yet. Just that's what you got to say. Listen, man, <laughs> I'm still listen, going to court for it to this day. An investigation. Listen, the, 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 the circumstances around it. Uh, <laughs> there are people who may still be interested in me at some point, so I'm just gonna fall back, right? I just uh, had a nice, but I will say it was. I will. I will call it as. I will call it self defense. That's what I'm calling it. I'm gonna tell you what I heard happen. I heard. <laughs> I heard it was a white dude, and Derek beat him down. I was like, now I'm kidnapping your father, and he going to be my servant forever while I'm doing my show. That's what I heard. So I don't know if it's true. So, so when you see Casper coming in, he coming out that field. He working. Oh, that's not what happens. She'll type it in the comments. No, 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 no. Nah, she united. They don't want the twins. They don't give it up. That's right. That's right. Maybe I just got off the phone with somebody today. So just remember. Just remember what I'm phone with. Yo, I thought, you know what? The Oscars, I really, when that shit happened, I thought I was watching the check in line for Spirit Airlines. Wow. I thought that shit was, <laughs> I, thought I really thought it was I said, damn, they got spirit airlines on TV. <sighs> Motherfuckers are fighting with a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> now I knew it wasn't that spirit airlines, like because if it was at the gate, it would have been gate eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been a it wouldn't have been a regular gate, you know. Because I heard that spirit airlines they got like gate eight and a half. Eight and three quarters, nine, nine the and a third. The, the motherfuckers know? for the cheaper flights, they got stools for the seats. No stools. <laughs> I thought they had lawn chairs on that shit. I really did. You yeah. sit on that motherfucker like this, spinning on a stool. Damn it! Damn it! on that motherfucker, spirit, man. We hard on spirit. Yeah. Fuck, fuck spirit, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, but they still serving. They, they still serving pork rinds on that. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And Chico sticks and shit. Chico sticks, yeah. They don't got water. They sell quarter waters and Boston baked beans. Heard up, <laughs> nasty ass <laughs> fight. Let me try to give me that shit. Yo, um, no one's been quiet. That dude, all this I seen is dude is have been shot before. Yep, yeah. yeah, they, 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 they used to be on back page. But anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Selling pussy. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, no, August, August. Do you think they made August? I seen the sound of NDA because he he's been quiet. They probably yeah, paid him. Real they, quiet. They probably cut they him, paid him off. 
They, yeah, yeah. They, they cut him a check, Rob. Right. It's like, well, with this happening, right, you would think that oh. journalists are going to go and find him now to see what his comments is on this. They're going to cut him another you know? But see, that was another mistake. They didn't even have to mention him and respond to what he said. Yeah, she said people could kill again. People want to violate in public always want you to react in private. Nah, you hit <laughs> you hit it how you live. You yeah, right, you I live. agree. All right, yeah. the top. Yeah, I agree with yeah, that. Yeah. I agree with that. That's right. Yeah. Trying to downplay it, bury the lead. Nope. Keep that same energy. <laughs> That's just what same it is. Energy. <laughs> and I do believe if it was 50 Cent or LL up there, uh, my man would have found the strength to, to go on. And that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tell you, I tell you, no lie. I think if even it was Cat Williams, I don't think he would have tried Cat. He wouldn't have. No, he Cat have. Williams would have brought the smoke right then and there. Word he would have been, been, been right on his ankle. <laughs> now, now, you know what I'm curious about? I'm curious he, to hear. He just wouldn't shut up. Cat, Cat yeah, would have never shut up. That's why yeah. he just made You ain't going to fuck about yeah. burn well. You ain't going to fuck about uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damon, I am a, I am a boy, Damon. Yo, this is the thing. I am curious. I'm curious what Chappelle thinks about it. Yeah, that's a good question. No, I'm talking about after the red table. I think he was like, shut, don't, he can't make yeah, no comment. Yeah, after the red, yeah. Remember, red, yeah. it got exposed when he, when he, uh, August said it, and then it was big. I don't but think then, he got paid off, because once the cat is out, what's the difference? He said he, he, Bro, he can't, but he can't go into detail. Did Jada... How did well, I don't want detail. detail. We don't even need detail. Nah, Once you got that, they just keep him from writing a book. My, about my, it. Oh, I said you come as far as the lifestyle. Yeah, I got what you said. My freak ass with the details. As far as the <laughs> lifestyle that they're in, in other words, it would have validated the, the open marriage thing. I got you. Correct. Which well, is the worst kept secret. Not, not, he never said it. he had open marriage in the book. It was jaded. He said he's a loyal man. He got cheated on by his first lady and all that kind of stuff like that. I'm telling you, bro, he. I think it's just when I say times, I think it's Jada. I don't think it's. I don't think he, he didn't know that creepy shit. He don't like to cheat like a one woman man. Well, styles make fights and <laughs> marriages apparently. <laughs> the toxic, I think it's man. She's just super Sorry toxic, to man. I agree. She just might just be super toxic, man. That's yeah. all that is, man. You mad? She mad her mama look better than her. Her mama ain't. No. Yo, I'll be honest with you. Her <laughs> yeah, mother is her. holding tight. She, Word, the yeah. woman her age, she looks great. She mama, looks great. Like mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that old, that old cougar, goddamn! <laughs> no, that, that's a gilf, goddamn! That gilf, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that gilf. Word right up, fucking mm -hmm. that gilf, okay. goddamn! Word right up, put it in retirement. <laughs> that and then bring it back out. Word up, <laughs> come out here, grandma. You take our teeth out, she. <laughs> scroll, scroll. I'm sorry, I'm calling for it. Give me the flag, baby. Hey, <laughs> <not even laughs> nah, nah, you wanted it, D. You was asking for it, D. No, D, you got to get it, D. You got to no, get it. You gotta that, get that, it. You gotta that, get that was weak. That was weak. It, it, I you know what it would have done? Me and Ron together, goddamn. Now you want to be together. Now you want to be together. Scroll if you didn't get it, D. If you didn't get it, the scroll would have had no meaning after that. Why don't the four of us vote that we have a scroll table that we can all vote together? Why don't the four of us vote that we have a scrollless episode? I thought I was gonna do it. Because D is not gonna be no, out. like we're not allowed to get scrolled. Let the referee let us play. Let him play, right? Let him play. No, no, the no, 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 no. With D on the set, nope, nope. Mm -mm. It's too risky, right? No, you can't do that. You can't Bro, do that. Too risky. I'm just going, Mo, I'm just going according to Will. Will don't to get down like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I missed that one. I didn't even see yeah, she it. said, uh, am I wrong for hating for uh when someone says uh, for Jada uh to cheat, Will must have cheated. Yeah, you know, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't, for yeah, justification. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we try to make things make sense, though, Monique. You know, people try to make Will things make sense. Will said he wasn't giving her attention. Will did he did a whole bunch of stuff going on hiatus, going different places. He did some meditation. Yeah. That's what it was, and he wasn't giving. He wasn't listening to her. And he, one time he was listening to his daughter. A whole bunch of shit was going on with him, man. So, well, the thing is, that's still too not busy a, out there making twenty million to flick. Hey, yeah, I was about down. to say that. <laughs> but the thing is, that's not an excuse to cheat. That's an excuse to sit down and talk. That's number one. And number two, ain't nobody in there starving. Nobody eating peanut butter and jelly up in there. Real exactly. Good. Exactly. Correct. Ain't no, ain't no is, sandwiches being Exactly. Made. And ain't nobody in there probably changing or making their own beds. You know nope. what I'm saying? They got housekeepers and all that shit. So don't, them people ain't suffering. Get the fuck out of here. Bill, Will goes away for two months to make a movie, comes back with 30 million. Shit, y'all better shut the fuck up in there. <laughs> where would they have, where would she have been at? That's what I'm saying. Looking at old episodes of a different world, like yeah. I mean, come on, like you, you really, your claim to fame was that this dude 
I mean, think about it. And this whole idea that he feels so small up against Tupac. She he ain't even in D and Rodney top 50. She got the Macy trophy. <laughs> oh, God, damn. <laughs> he, ain't in the top, he ain't in my 50. Tupac never will get there. Sorry. No, nah, he's not in my top 50 either. Nah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, wow, you, man. Really? No, I don't. I don't no, they mean ever. that. They've been holding to that. Ever. I, I don't. There's things that, you know, that, um, that I didn't kind of like about Tupac the way certain things did. I didn't. I didn't think he was a lyricist. I really didn't. No, exactly. he, was a lyricist, but he was a rapper. He wasn't a lyricist. I think yeah, his mystique was Tupac. bigger than his skill. He was a mood man. New huh? Tupac was a mood. Jay you know? said she never fucked him though. So it's yeah, you can trust her. No, so I mean, yeah, if she said it, you got to believe it. At allegedly, this point, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Allegedly, you everything else out. Tupac was messing with Jasmine Guy. Allegedly. That's what guys kind of scared. Jasmine looked bad, bro. Woo! Back in the day, she did. She looked bad now. I mean, bad, man. Like, bad, <laughs> he, bad. Mean, he don't mean I, bad. He mean no, bad no, meaning no, bad, not bad meaning bad. Meaning bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting the scroll, but I'm going to say nothing disrespectful. I'm staying right Monique, there. That's what the scroll coming. She said they have enough money for her to make weekend visits to her husband. Talking about Jasmine. That's right. You That's know? right. She can see him anytime she want to see him. You know? That's true. That is I, facts. The thing is, you're right, because I'm pretty sure they have access to a private jet. Yeah, we can afford all that, you know. He, he, bro, if you see the book, he was flying from. If he's like, shooting Detroit on location, Cal- she can meet him. He was going from Detroit right. to California, like in the- bro. The bro got money. He got crazy money. Yeah, he got he got thirty million money. justified neglect. No, it doesn't. Do no, it does. That's not what we're saying. The yeah. thing is, like, we just have to sit down and talk. It helped, about it. though. I can't front. Yeah, because there's a lot of people <laughs> dealing with it. That's out there. <laughs> but no, working but that I, nine to five. Think, nah. I think it's. I think it's Will's childhood from just understanding what, what his father witnessed his mother getting beat by his father. How hard his father was on him. Um, you know, it, it, that those are the things I think really played out with Will. Stuff with being being a kid. Being yeah, like you get there's stuff there. There's, yeah, there's stuff there. It's a damaged child. And that's still in that man, and that's yeah. that's what it is. I think that's what he, he, he needs some help. I mean, he did sort of help, but I think he really needs to stay in therapy. He needs to stay. And, in and to, to answer Derek's question, what Shannon Sharp said was he would have gave Will that work. He would Will behind mm-hmm. on stage. He said, that he, said, every, he said every time on site he would have Will as he said. Yeah, just because he had nothing else better to do. Yep. Yeah, he'd whoop his ass. Yeah, yeah, he looked that. like he could do it actually. Listen, oh man, hell yeah, you don't need he ain't gonna win no oratorical contest. But when it comes to that gym, my man is in it. <laughs> So, it looked like Shannon Sharp's testosterone level is going up at his old age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, bro. Wow. That yeah, bro. Got, real, bro. He got muscles on his earlobes. <laughs> and then it made me laugh. Shannon Sharp said, if Denzel told him at your highest peak, that's when the devil called. Shannon was like, well, then I'm the devil. Then. I'm I'm the, devil. Yeah. <laughs> the devil is going to take over me today. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh.